Hey guys, I'm Nick. Today we're gonna take a few minutes. We're gonna talk about this here wrench. This wrench was made to fit your PDL system perfectly. Uh, it was made for a local guy who wanted a wrench that wouldn't corrode. He had been carrying around a standard wrench and he had some corrosion issues. I have been recently printing a ton of 3D things on the 3D printer. I love it, I'm super addicted to it. And he asked me if I could design a wrench and boom, voila. Uh, durability check, all that good stuff. We designed it so it would float. So you toss it out there in the water. If you drop it between your feet and it lands in that hole, it will float, uh, which is an awesome, awesome thing. It's pretty nifty. It's cool. I like it. Works well. Fitted, fit his needs well. Posted a few pictures of it. A bunch of people wanted to buy them. So we've pretty much been mass producing them on the printer five at a time. Uh, we've sold a bunch of them. If you want one, there'll be a link below. You can buy it from our website directly and I'll ship it out same day as of now i have about 10 or 12 left over that are still ready to ship uh that's about it guys works great nothing to it fits in there just tighten it down uh, when you guys are tightening these nuts there's really no reason to tighten it too much that is a nylon locking nut as soon as that washer quits moving that's plenty of pressure to hold the prop onto the shear pin without any issues um, i like to keep it loose you know not too tight, not over torqued, just so it's easy to remove in case of an emergency. Say you broke a shear pin or you broke a prop and you wanted to replace it. Um, I've actually used my fishing pliers before to remove this nut to get some fishing line out of there one time. Uh, not over torquing it is uh, very, very important. If you tighten it too tight, you might not be able to get it off if you need to. Keep that in mind. As always, there is a I always recommend that you guys pop this off when you first get it and coat that shear pin with CPC to stop it from corroding. Uh, that'll keep that shear pin in great shape for a way longer period of time. Uh, I'll put a link to that video below as well. If you guys are interested in buying this, the link will be down there too. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the video. Uh, if you have any questions, you can email me at nick at Thanks for watching. Have a good night.